Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to our Monday night life application Bible class. But for the last six Mondays, we've been having special Lenten meditation and prayers. And I hope that it's been blessing you if you have been sharing. And if tonight is the first time, we pray that God will touch you with something as we meditate together on His Word. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we just thank you for all things. Definitely we thank you for this very moment, which you have given us an opportunity to share in your Word and in the power of the resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for even the opportunity to celebrate this Holy Week with you. And we thank you for all your love and all your care. As you continue to touch and bless us, this is our prayer in Jesus' name. It's interesting how this cross that means so much to us as Christians how it was such a symbol of shame and disgrace but resulted in the crucifixion of Jesus to be a symbol of victory. And I just pray that we take the time, particularly around Lent, to reflect on that, how the cross became a sign and a symbol to us of victory. And it moves us beyond Good Friday, so to speak, to early Easter morning, Resurrection Day, and how because he lives, we now live. If you stop to reflect on the very concept of resurrection, without that a whole lot of things, if not all our Christianity, really means nothing. That's why when you peruse the early writings in the New Testament, the early writings of Christian writers, the resurrection is always spoken about with power. The power of the risen Christ. You know, Jesus spent uh, quite a bit of time disputing with, for instance, the Sadducees, who definitely did not believe in the resurrection. Yet, that, and, and they were religious folk. And the exact thing that they disputed Jesus about happened. Jesus arose from the dead. And we could easily say, well, we can attribute that, and rightly so, to the power of the Holy Spirit. But for us, like I said before, all that we believe and we cherish as Christians would not mean much if we ourselves are not resurrected. And so we're not living a Christian life in vain. We're not obeying God and His precepts and laws for nothing because we have this resurrection power. Now until that time comes, how shall we live with expectations? And how shall we live in spite of the many obstacles and challenges that we face from time to time. I want to uh, share with you uh, briefly um, how 
resurrection power is typed in, and symbolic in our own lives, using Joseph as an example. This is something I've written about and spoken about. It's in a book that I've written, Principles of Belief and Practices of Faith. And I use Joseph uh, as an example. Now, Joseph is well known, right? You know that he went down to Egypt and became uh, a, a very powerful leader down there. But a lot of things happened to Joseph before he got uh, to where uh, he became this powerful leader. So let's share this. Uh, I call it the downs and ups in faith journeys, and that applied to all of us. Joseph's journey from Canaan to Egypt and back to Canaan is a good way to describe his walk with God. This description is highlighted by several metaphors that I call downs and ups. Joseph was thrown down into a pit by his brothers because they were jealous of him and they wanted to get rid of him. Joseph was, Joseph was brought up from the pit by his brothers and they sold by his brother and they sold him to a caravan of Ishmaelites merchants. Joseph was brought down to Egypt by the Ishmaelites. Joseph was brought up from slavery by Potiphar. That's when he spent some time in a powerful uh, Egyptian household. Joseph was brought down to prison because of the lies of Potiphar's wife. Joseph was brought up from prison by Pharaoh. Joseph's body was put down into a tomb in Egypt by the Egyptians. That's when he died. But then Joseph's body was brought up to Canaan by the Hebrew people. So the whole idea that I'm trying to share with you is that every time you have put down life by anything. Any times things are oppressing you, shoving you down, holding you down, keeping you down, you have resurrection power to overcome those situations because Christ died for you that you might be resurrected to eternal life but in the meanwhile, you have power over the downs in your life to be resurrected from them because God has given you the victory through the cross and through the resurrection power of Jesus. So I just want you to remember that. And I just use Joseph as an example, but there are many 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 examples many of them you know about some of them you have probably experienced but next time you feel down and next time you feel forsaken next time you feel whatever remember you have resurrection power to come up to be raised up from your situation God bless you, and we look forward to sharing uh, those of you who are in New York and the Corum vicinity on Long Island, our many services that we'll be having this Holy Week, and you can go to the website or go to the, our Facebook website, Faith Baptist Church International Ministries, and you'll see all those services. So God bless you and keep you and remember you have resurrection power. God bless.